So, what is vertical electrical sounding? Vertical electrical sounding VES or 1D resistivity method is the original electrical method from which all other methods derive. VES is a DC electrical resistivity method usually conducted using one and Schlumberger or Wenner array. The array used in this method is Wenner array. This is the list of equipment used in this VES method. Measuring tape is used for marking out electrode spacing. Next, four stainless steel electrodes is used to collect the data from the ground and transform it into the ABEM system. Next, ABEM Terameter SAS 300 is used to measure resistivity value of materials in the site. A 12 volt battery is used as a power supply. Hammer is used to heat the stand of the electrode. Four single core cable is used to connect each of electrode to the ABEM Terameter SAS 300. Last is GPS which is used to mark the coordinate reading for all of the station reading base on the site. Firstly, measuring tape is pulled through the survey line. The length of the survey line is 60 meter. Next, each of electrode is pushed down to a depth of about 0.1 to 0.2 meter to the ground. If the soil is hard, use hammer to hit the stand of the electrode. Next, the four single core cable is connected to the ABEM Terimeter SAS 300 and to the electrode. The single core cable is connected from terminal P2 of ABEM to electrode P2. Then, the cable is connected from terminal P1 to electrode P1. Next, the cable is connected from terminal C to ABEM to electrode C2. And lastly, from terminal C1 to electrode C1. Then, connect the clip from ABEM terimeter to the power supply. After that, the ABEM terimeter SAS 300 is switched on. Later, set the cycle for the measurement and click on measure button. After the reading for first electrode spacing is recorded, all four electrodes is moved to the next spacing. The separations for electrode are increased at 0 0.5, 1, 2.5, 5.0, 7.5, 10.0, 12.5, 15.0, 17.5 and 20.0 meter. This is the table consists of information on spacing A, AB per 2, MN per 2, resistance recorded from ABEM Terameter SAS 300, resistivity calculated from formula, where resistivity rule equal to 2 pi AR, R is the resistance. Based on information recorded in table, a graph of resistivity against AB per 2 is plotted. And this is the result of the graph. The graph produced is compared with master curve. Overlay the plotted graph on the master curve and shift the data to find the best fitting master curve. Next, find the A per H1 value on master curve where the value crossed with your x-axis data representing layer thickness and find the roll A per roll 1 value on master curve where the value cross with your Y data exists representing resistivity for first layer. Next, resistivity value for second layer is determined by multiplying first layer's resistivity with the best fitting curve ratio. This is one of the example of interpretation using master curve. For this example, the data best fit at the roll A per roll 1 equal to 6 master curve. H1 represent the thickness, roll 1 represent the resistivity for first layer, while roll 2 represents the resistivity for second layer. Master curve is known as a classical way. And this is the example of graph produced this day using software. The first layer of this example consists of very low resistivity material which could be clay saturated with water. Layers 1, 2 and 3 have moderate resistivity values that indicate the presence of conductive materials. 
For layer 4, 5 and 6, resistivity values increases abruptly indicate the presence of non-conductive material. The low resistivity value for layer 7 and 8 indicate conductive material. Next, the 9th and 10th layer indicates high to very resistivity respectively that show the presence of non-conductive material in layer 10. And lastly, the values of resistivity declines in layer 11 which show the presence of conductive body that goes deeper into the air. Wanna grab lunch? Never ever met a guy.